All right, next up, um, it's really a pleasure to introduce you to much needed innovation in, uh, in continent space. Please meet Moxie Patch and Remy all the way, well, from next door, but she flew in all the <laughs> way from Canada. Over to you, Remy. Thank you very much. Definitely, it's a pleasure to, uh, to be here. And so thank you everyone for, uh, for joining us today. One third, one third of all women will experience incontinence leaks within their lifetimes. And that's approximately 50 million women in the US alone. My name is Remy Warren and I'm the founder of Moxie Patch. And as someone with over 12 years of consumer packaged goods experienced with the last five years, specifically in the feminine hygiene category, I realized a gap in the market and a lack of true innovation in the fast growing incontinence category. You're likely familiar with the multitude of products available on store shelves today to help deal with these frustrating leaks, like pads, liners, and diapers. But the vast majority of these products are just absorbent, disposable products that aren't even designed to prevent leaks. If 50 million women are peeing their pants on a regular basis when they do things like sneeze, run, or jump, why are there no great eco-friendly and accessible options that are designed to actually prevent these frustrating leaks? Until now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Moxie Patch. Moxie Patch is a patent pending, reusable and eco-friendly over-the-counter solution that actually works to prevent the frustrating and often embarrassing leaks caused by stress incontinence. Moxie Patch consists of a soft medical grade silicone base along with a kit containing 25 replaceable adhesive hydrogel pads. It will be available online and in retail mass market and pharmacy stores so that it's accessible to all women. No doctor appointments, no fittings, no prescriptions, and it will even be covered under most healthcare spending accounts in the US. So how are we gonna do this? The focus of the year one launch will be in the US market and primarily online as we build our audience and gain initial sales and brand awareness. In years two and three, we're planning to increase our store count significantly as we place further focus on retail and begin to pursue both Canadian and strategic international opportunities. Moxie's image is intentionally sassy without being crude or gross. Our marketing and social media depict real everyday problems and people like featuring postpartum bodies with stretch marks and cellulite, real women. We plan to get people talking about their leaks and Moxie patch. And in terms of what's next, I'm excited to say that we've previously completed and filed the medical device listing for Moxie Patch and corporate registration with the FDA. We've completed a formal user study and have received overwhelmingly positive results. And in order to execute this exciting strategy and bring this amazing product to life, I'm asking for $300,000 to expedite our speed to market with the right investor partners. Having already see, received soft commitments for 75,000 so far, we intend to close the round at the end of June and welcome meetings with interested investors over the next two to three weeks. With the strategic plans that I have in place for Moxie, uh, specifically in this category, uh, our expertise, I'm confident that Moxie Patch will be the next disrupting innovation in the incontinence category. I look forward to continuing our discussions and helping women to regain their Moxie. Thank you. Great stuff. Well done, Remy. Thank you. Let's wait for some questions in the chat. Can you talk about Moxie's competitors? Please? Sure. Yes. Yeah. So the indirect competitors we would consider would be things like um, pads and liners, um, items that women are traditionally using or commonly using to, um, to deal with their incontinence currently. There's other products like pessaries, but those are generally fitted by a physician or healthcare provider. Um, and a lot of women tend to go through three plus different pessaries, unfortunately, to find one that uh, even works for them. Um, in terms of direct competitors, I do only, there's only one other competitor that I'm aware of uh, globally right now that sells um, another urethral occluding device, and that's called Finesse. And they're currently um, available in the US market only uh, right now, but they're also a disposable um, device. So so even though they're still considered a, like a urethral occluding device, they're still very uh, different from uh, Moxie Patch. And so I feel like uh, women would really prefer a better, more environmentally friendly solution like Moxie. Uh, I've got a question actually. Again, uh, are there any regulatory hurdles you've got to jump through? 
Yes. Yeah. So we've already, um, we've gotten our medical device listing where the corporation is now registered uh, with, with the FDA specifically. Uh, we're considered a class one uh, device uh, in the U.S. market. And so we actually are 510K exempt um, as well. Uh, but we have done the formal user studies. And in terms of uh, overall safety and efficacy, the FDA didn't have any specific requirements that we that it has to be an approved product. Um, but for our own purposes, we have to have all the specific quality control uh, systems in place, like quality management systems and uh, ISO 13485 manufacturers and whatnot as well. Okay, thank you. We have uh, two questions from Georgina. Um, first of all, who is um, the team apart from yourself? And then the second question is, what is the feedback um, on the comfort side from, from the, the users? users? Yeah, from the users. Yes, yeah. So in terms of uh, in terms of the team, I have four people currently on my uh, board of advisors in uh, different areas. Uh, from neurodynamics to marketing to finance. Um, and in terms of an actual full-time team, that would just be myself right now. Um, but excitingly, um, I'm looking at uh, various co-founder opportunities uh, right now to help uh, specifically with uh, regulatory and finance um, and feel, although not ready to announce anything uh, as of yet, um, feel that uh, I found someone uh, that really would be the the ideal fit and so we're kind of approaching things uh, slowly and cautiously but uh, if that uh, relationship if we were to able to find an agreement there I feel like that would be a really um, ideal relationship but part of the funding and the reason that I'm pursuing the funding right now would be to um, to get the marketing um, assistance that I require as well in order to really have a strong uh, digital and digital marketing presence so one marketing person for strategy and then one for execution. Amazing. So impressive what you've done. Like, honestly, it's just mind blowing. Thank you, Thank Thank you very so much. much. Um, we're on to the next page, but this was incredible, Remy. Congrats. Really well done. Congratulations. Thank you.